Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penn, and it's time for some more Airport CEO and the Extreme Difficulty Challenge. So, if you missed this last time out, essentially, I mean, the clue is in the name. You could probably work it out yourself. But we are playing a game of Airport CEO. But rather than starting with the $2 million that the easy bit gives you, no, no, we've gone for the Extreme Difficulty option, which gives you $250,000 to start with. So, given that a runway is $100,000, and also is in constant need of bloody repairing, um, you don't actually have that much money to play with. So this is all we had for our quarter of a million dollars. We've got a grass runway, some grass taxiway, and five grass stands, and an air traffic control tower, a little uh, whatever they are, like a sort of security gate thing above for the road, like a checkpoint, and the tiniest, the tiniest bit of road just there, the tiniest bit of service road. And that's it. That's all we've got. We've hardly got anything else. So what we're doing now is we're literally speeding time on. We're hurrying time on because our plan is to get a lot of these stands. We need a lot more small stands if this airport stands, stands, ha, ah, little joke there. I won't make that again. Um, stands any chance of being successful. So the plan for the challenge is to build this bit up here. So uh, we want to build this up here. We want to have lots of small stands here and lots of small stands down here, and then potentially another runway and some more stands over that side. I don't know yet, we've not quite got that far, but certainly something over here. So if not another runway, definitely a load more stands, because this bit kind of needs to be self-sufficient. I'd like to be able to just sort of leave this running on its own and it just accrue money as we sit here. So uh, look, there you go, $400. Uh, for our flight coming in. It'd be lovely if we could just leave that running. Yeah, we're going to have to keep upgrading, well, repairing the runway as we go along, but that's fine. So, um, th that's the plan. Build this up. This could be our sort of cash cow. This could be money. It can keep coming in. It'll be lovely and fine. The aim of the challenge is to build over this side, it's in my head anyway, is to build a fully functioning commercial airport. So the goal of our actual challenge in order to, for me to believe that it's complete is to say, right, there we go. We've got a commercial contract with a medium sort of airline, a medium sized contract, and it's been successfully delivered. So we've completed the whatever it is, 10, 12, 14 flights, whatever they want me to do. If it's complete, then I will consider the challenge to be fine. And finished, done. We sign it off and we go, hooray. So the uh, airport over here doesn't need to be big and flash and fancy. It needs to have some of the basic stuff in like baggage handling and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it doesn't need all the bells and whistles as long as we can get commercial flights in and out. And that's fine. I'll consider that a win. But at the moment, money is hard to come by. So look, I mean, we've got 24 grand, which actually is okay. So it means we can build another one of these, which is jolly exciting. So this is going to be what we've got to do for the next, I don't know, for the next lots of parts, I'd imagine, because um, we simply need this money in for us to gain any sort of profit at all. Oh, we need some builder guys in, don't we? Dudes, come in. Five of you, that'll do. Five people, get some five contractors in, that'll do. Um, so this bit is, we're going to have to build all these stands up. The general aviation dudes come in, they pay me money for staying, sitting about, don't know what they're doing, they've got their own planes, they can do whatever they flip in one of their own planes, and they pay me money for taking off and landing on this just really awful runway. This really awful runway which has got massive grooves down the middle now. How what condition is that? 86% and it looks like it's falling apart. Okay, fine. I mean that looks very tired to me, but there you go. So we get four hundred dollars for when they come in. Oh, let's uh, let's switch that on. Let's open that stand up. There we go. Um Yes, we get $400 when people come in, and then $400 when people fly out. So $400 for use of the runway, plus we get $100 an hour for people staying in these. So money is coming in, and as you can see, the stands get full. Look, so there you go, we've got a full set of stands, with all six are occupied, which means they're paying us money, which is good, but we just need more. We just need more. We just need a lot more stands. We need to just keep going. And now it's going to get to night time. And I don't believe, now I don't know the rules about this, and I'm, again, I'm willing to be corrected on this, um, that this is uh, a flight thing, they're not allowed to fly at night. I remember watching an episode of Top Gear, and there was a race. There was a race from, I think it was Paris or Italy or something, I forget where. But, um, and Jeremy Clarkson had a big car, power, and uh, Hammond and May had to get there via other means. So they said, oh, well, they'll fly. James May has a plane pilot license thing. He can fly one of these small planes. So, um, yeah, they flew until it got sort of dark. And then he had to land because he wasn't allowed to actually fly in the dark. So I don't know if these planes, because they're so small 
and you know fairly unnoticeable maybe in the sky are not actually not actually allowed to fly in the night time which is why when it gets to this time we then have a little option that pops up saying fast forward to next day also dismiss all the contractors don't need to pay those guys so let's fast forward to the next day so this basically hikes us through to 4 a.m the next morning which presumably is when they're allowed to fly again I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. We're getting money from them. So they get 13 now, which is a bit weird. So overnight, they must pay less. They must pay marginally less overnight than they do in the daytime. Because then 13, if they're paying $13 every 15 minutes, that's not quite... That's What's that? $92 or something like that. Is that right? Every 15 minutes? No, that doesn't make sense either. I don't know what they're paying the 13 for. That's not $92. That's four. Yeah, I don't get that. Because I thought it was 100 it was oh, speed it on again. A hundred dollars per hour to stay in those things. So it should be twenty-five dollars every fifteen minutes, but it's not. It's going to be thirteen dollars every fifteen minutes, which is a bit weird. So what's that? Forty-six, fifty-two. So maybe overnight they get it for half price because nothing else is happening in the airport. I don't know. Um, another thing is the runway. The runway kind of keeps falling apart a bit. Like here, look, we need to keep repairing it. So for every one flight that goes over that either lands or takes off, it knocks the condition down by one and adds $59 to the repair bill. Now that's getting a bit annoying. Um, there is an upgrade, upgraded to asphalt, asphalt, whatever the word is, which presumably means that it will wear down a lot slower. I mean, I imagine you still need to maintain it, but just a lot less. However, $60,000 upkeep from the start. That's very expensive. I don't know if we can afford that kind of thing. However, this is good. Look at the money we'll get from these guys just queuing up. Um, there we go. So yeah, lots of people. It says they're flight in pattern. Now, what does that mean? Is is pattern the ones in the sky in a holding pattern, zooming around waiting to come in? Or are these guys part of the pattern? Like him. Him there. Old, old Johnny Cessna. Is he part of that pattern? Or is he not part of that pattern? I don't really know. Well, he's gone out anyway, so I don't know. So none in the pattern. There's none in the queue to go in or come out, I guess. So maybe they're not. Maybe they're not part of the pattern. I don't know. So now we just need to get another 20 grand. Right, he's waited for him. This is good. They'll, they'll work this out. Now, I'm a bit worried that there are going to be... There's going to be a load of, like, clogged bit. Like, how can they move out the way? Are we going to create blockages? If people are coming in and out, are we going to create blockages? If they're struggling to go around the taxiways, do we need them to be, like, two ways or something? I don't really know. Or maybe they need to go in and kind of come round. Maybe I've made a bit of a boo-boo with that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. We might have done that a bit wrong. I'm going to leave that until it gets to like 50% or something. Because it's still fine. I'm fairly certain they can still operate on it until it gets to... I don't know. Maybe when it goes red condition. Maybe when it's in a red and <laughs> that bar's in red. And there's bits hanging off. And the planes are you know tilting at 45 degrees when they come in. Because they're stuck in a groove the size of a golf bunker. Then, um, yeah. Then we might go and uh, repair it. But until then, I think we're fine. Because we've got another 20,000... We have another 20 thou, as people would say. So, let's get ourselves another uh, one of the small stands, a grass one. Let's drop it just there. And then we need the taxiway foundation and that coming down like that. And the taxiway nodes to connect that up. So, down there and wanted there. And now we need the builder guys into operation. So, let's get ourselves, I don't know, seven, eight. That'll do. Eight contractors. The contractor can run in. Build this, build that, then we can send them away again. Because <laughs> there's no point paying for them. They're just going to stand around. They're literally going to stand still and do nothing. And we're going to be paying for that. Which is a stupid way of doing things. So yeah, they're not. there's not enough of them to do it all in one go. So they've got to run back and pick up the boxes. But that's fine. So it's just the taxiway stuff they need building. Okay, let's set that for general aviation. Let's open the stand. Beautiful. So another stand open. Now, of course, each stand we have open, we'll start increasing our money exponentially. So yeah, every time we get 20 grand... We want to go through and pretty much immediately build another stand. We just want to keep building those stands. Just keep churning them out until we can actually get everything done. Now, that is looking terrible, isn't it? It's only on 67%. It's two grand to repair. Uh, okay, go on then. I'll repair it now. Fine. Two grand. Two thousand dollars to repair the grass room. Well, what do we do? Just plant some more seeds? How expensive is it? Okay, right. So, they're coming in. So, yeah, th there's not... There's not too much else to do. At this early stage, that's all we can do. Now, the plan the plan will be on this service road. The service road will cut out that way. 
uh, kind of underneath the air traffic control tower, and it'll go over there, and the big airport will be over there. So the service rack can go over there and do stuff with the big airport as well. And it will be connected to this one, and that's cool. Up here, the service road is going to go up this way, and on here, we're going to put the fuel stuff. So we're going to put the little fuel tankers that are going to sit there, and the vehicle building, bay, whatever it is. A few tankers, but I mean the big, like the tanks, the reservoirs, if you like. And the vehicle bay that has the actual little fuel truck that goes and refuels people because we do want to offer at some point a refueling to these planes because that would be quite cool. That brings in money. Money is good. Money means we can build more kind of shiny, exciting things. Look, it's full again. One, two, three, four, five, seven bays all full. Now, can we fast forward to the next day already? Yes, we can. Fast forwarding to 4am from 7 o'clock. Wow. Okay, fine. So we should get a bit of money from this because they're paying $25 every 15 minutes. Now, when does it go down? There. So at 10 o'clock, they pay less. So at 10 o'clock until whatever time, until 4 again, presumably, is it? Or 5 or 6? So from 10 overnight until... Let's check what time it is. But 10 until a time in the morning, they pay less. Now, that is weird. That is a strange thing. I suppose because they're going to be asleep. That's fine. So now do they start paying more? At four o'clock, is it more? Let's be time on, come on. When you come out of the fast forward thing, it puts the time as, um, it puts it back at one speed rather than um, three speed, which means everything takes bloody ages. No, so it's still $13. When does it go up then? At five? At six? I genuinely don't know. Well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see if we can do that. There we go. Taking its time, taking its time. Oh, I don't bloody know. Well, let's look at this while we're there. Now, this, I kind of get why they've put this in. I kind of get why they've put this funny email in. Golden opportunity, pay quick from Dr. William Munro. Kind of a thing here. One of the private, it's like blah, blah, blah. One of the accounts holding balance of a lot of money. Oh, there you go. Must be 6 a.m. that they get to 25 quid again. So between 10 and 6, they have a special discount sort of overnight rate, I'd guess. Okay, that's fine. That's good to know. Um, yeah, here we go. So somebody here with an account has been dormant, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you can come and claim the money. Give me, let me know and I'll scam you, basically. And that's funny. There you go. Ha ha. That, that's a funny thing. There we go. That is, that's a hilarious little gag there. Yep, you've made the joke. You get it constantly. You get it all the time. Look, every day. And it's a bit, yeah, I get it. It's not that funny, though. It's not that funny, a gag. They could just do with it sending it once. People going, ha ha. But no. To make it even worse, to make sort of rub salt into the wound, you have to buy the anti-spam filter to stop that, so it cleans out the messages. So you look at it, Richard, you go, oh yeah, $150, fine, I'll unlock that. It needs a chief information officer who's going to need to be paid by the hour. So unless you've got any other requirement for a CIO, just go through and delete those emails. I kind of, I kind of get the idea. It's kind of a little cute gimmick that they've put in, but then it doesn't need to be in there any more than once. You kind of just go, yeah, okay, fine, you've made the joke. Yep, funny. Now, now don't do not do it again. You keep doing it twice a day. Okay, fine. It's it's not really worth the effort, is it? Let's repair the runway again. Good grief. Um, so, we're nearly at... Well, we'll have a bit less than that in the next hour, because I just repaired the runway. But by, say, lunchtime-ish or whatever, by this day, we should have enough money to get another one of these runways, if we just wait until 11 o'clock, just see how much money we do have. So 20,430, right, by the time I've placed all this stuff, uh, it'll be another hour gone and we'll have some more money. So let's drop that just there. Get the Taxway Foundation of grass, of course, because it's cheap. Drop that to just there. Do your nodes, so hoik that all the way down. Put that to there, splendid. And um, yeah, we need some build. Oh, the builders are still there. <laughs> I'd forgot to get rid of the builders. That does work out quite well, although I could have a little bit more money now if I'd have actually got rid of the builders. But never mind, they're there now, and that's what counts. They're doing their thing. They're doing their work on the thing. They're building the stand, which is ready. Right, general aviation. Open. Splendid. So that's another stand. Another stand bringing in more monies. So the way we're going to earn money, as of this side of things, can I just repair that really quick, is um, we're going to earn money from the flights coming in and out, so landing on the runways, and taking off from the runways, we're going to earn money from here, from the stands and the people parking in them. And we're going to earn money from fuel. I think that's the only way that you can earn stuff through the general aviation side of things. I don't think there's anything else you can do. Like, it sort of works. Look, there's it's a clever... Do you know what I do need to do? Let's create another holding point just there. And a holding point just, say, there. That'll do. Do they wait at the holding points? 
Oh, I see. What? There's a queue. Oh, is that where they just wait because there's a queue? I don't even know what holding point does. I don't, I don't do planes. Like, why would there be a holding point? Why do you need... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, they're there. And that's fine. And these are filling up very nicely. Look at it. They're all full. They're all full. That's beautiful. So now we've got eight. Eight of these. Um, however, there is a way to eke this out. Eke money out of these. We looked at it briefly last time. So you can go into the um, economy bit and into budgets and fees. And if you have a CFO, if you have a chief financial officer, you can modify the fees. If we did this... If we got a CFO on board, we would want to make sure that whatever fees we were applying, or whatever fees were increasing, were enough to pay this person's wages. Not you, that's Jenny Wickle, she's in charge. Um, to pay the person's wages. So let's just let's go. Let's have a look how much they want. The board. CFO. Open for applications. Let's go to applicants. Scroll down to the bottom, which is where it normally is. So we've got. Greta Jankowskas wants $102 an hour. Good grief. Anya Mlaka wants $62.40 an hour. That seems a bit more reasonable. And Boris Petrovich, who has a tremendous name, is $87 an hour. Okay. Now, I don't know if their skills have any bearing on anything. Yeah, okay. So she is considerably worse than the other ones. And she does appear to have more in terms of skills. If you assign numbers to them, they would be greater. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if having any like the skills has any bearing on anything like logic there you go indicates how smart an employee is and how well they take accurate decisions you don't technically need to do anything you you just need to allow me to adjust prices which you should be able to do very easily she's 65 and this is funny i only saw she looks a bit like me in fact she looks very familiar um i kind of glanced at this when i played but then when i watched many a true nerd's playthrough that he did his live stream the other day i actually read these properly they're a bit they're a bit weird so i am anya malaka and i have a phd from stenfart university and I've, and I've worked for 18 years so you're 65 you've worked for 18 years so what's that 55 50 so 47 you started working 47 you thought you know what better go and get a job now i'm you know three years till 50 better go and earn my, me my money earn a keep um so the most previous company I worked for was PVC. Okay, what did you do with PVC? In my free time, I am a DJ. Okay, I'd love to work at your app. Oh, what do the others do? What do the others do? In my free time, I code games. Yeah, okay. In my free time, I enjoy studying informatics, but not spelling, it seems. Okay, now I'm going to get her. I don't think it makes any difference in terms of the stats. We'll hire her. So if we hire her at 60, let's say it's $62.40. Let's say it's $60. I need to then, every hour, for these guys here paying this money, I need to make sure that I can extract as much money out of them as I can. So if I hire her now, so let's hire her. Splendid. Pause. Pause the game. Economy. Fees. I can now adjust these fees. So let's adjust the light aircraft landing fee to 410. Just knock it up by $10, just a tiny bit. And the small stand parking from 100 to 120 so i should get now 30 dollars every uh every 50 minutes yes for these well not overnight it'll be slightly different it'll be 15 dollars i suppose would it that's a bit complicated so 20 dollars extra an hour for small stand parking 20 40 60 80 100, 100 so i get 160 extra which covers the wages of the financial lady and leaves us with an extra 100 quid in profit simply from having them on the site waiting there. I like that. Literally, <laughs> I creep in. I hire someone in the dead of night and I, they creep in and go, ha ha, I've upped your prices. And they're all asleep and then they're like, oh, oh, thanks. Thanks for making me pay more when I'm asleep. Yes, swines. So, um, yes, yeah, so they're going to be paying more money, which is, which is good. I like that. We need to kind of work out Along there, I know we can't afford one of those right now. Is there going to be enough road, room for a service road underneath there? If I put it there, yes, there is. In fact, that's the perfect, that's perfect. That is the perfect placement for that. So when we've got one more of those in, which we'll get to eventually. Why am I doing this? Why am I watching this happen? Fast forward to four o'clock. There we go. So we're making money every hour. Splendid. Um... When that's at the bottom, we can then build the service road that's going to cut across to the other side. However, we do need to repair the runway for $1,500 almost, which is a bit annoying. Also, 
we do need to repair these as well. So let's go through and repair the stands while we're there. It's it's unfortunate that we have to do it, but it, I mean, it costs quite a lot of money. That's Hang on, how much have we spent on it now? Just over two grand. So that's going to be about 3,000. Three and a half. This one probably not so damaged. Yeah, so I've just spent about $4,000 on just repairing what we've already got. Just upkeep, maintenance. Can that be automated? Can we have someone that automatically upgrades these when they're at, you know, 10% or whatever? Is there a thing for that? Job tasks? Vehicle staff? No, there's no incidents. Construction is nothing to do with that. Oh, let's dismiss you guys for now. Dismiss all. So I'm paying for those contractors and they just stood there. I've been paying for them for days now. What an idiot. 6 37 an hour for whatever it was. Eight contractors. Yeah, that's quite a bit of money in this situation. So yeah, let's get rid of those guys. So now we have our chief financial person in. 410 for the runway, which is good. So we're eking out a little bit of money extra from there. We're eking out a little bit of money extra from the guys here who are staying overnight. What I don't know is, if I put the price up, if I said, right, to land at the runway now is $1,200. Does that deter people? Or is the game not that advanced yet? Would it go, yeah, 12 and does fine. Yep, yeah, I'm a plane in. I come. I'm incredibly wealthy. Wee. I, I don't know. Is it worth a look? I'm not sure. But I think what we need to do now, have we got another hilarious email? Ha 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 ha. Funny. Delete. Um, I think what we need to do now is just wait. We're just going to wait until we've got this bottom stand in at least. Uh, which could be... I don't know, maybe another four or five hours, possibly? I don't know, it's going to be a little while. It's going to be a while, at least, just to get, yeah, four or five hours to get this extra stand in. So plonk that in, then try and get the service road going along the bottom bit, just there. So I'll stand in, service road, and then, yeah, then we'll have to see where we are after that, see how much money we've got and how much we're making. In fact, we're making quite a lot of money. But yeah, okay, let's get that in. Let's wait until we've got sufficient funds to do all that kind of stuff. Okay, I've left it running for a bit. Now, I've noticed that when you zoom out, when you zoom out, the runway looks lovely. You'd look at that and think, that is a runway I'm going to land on. And then you get closer and you think, oh my goodness, the runway is falling apart. It's full of holes. I best repair this for $2,300. It was about half, half the sort of, half the condition it should be, which is unfortunate. But we do have enough money to put another one of these. So let us get that in play. So a grass stand and just there, which is fine. And some foundation even. The foundation can go down like that. Splendid. And the nodes can be put into place like so. There we go. Lovely. Right. Also, we can now do the service road across the bottom like that. And then across the bottom there to just there. Just so it's ready and sort of in preparation for. We can then put ones along here. We can put the stands down here now, which is jolly exciting. And then the service rows can connect up, which is good. Oh, another amusing email. Oh, how we laughed. Okay, construction. Let's just get, let's get 10, whatever. Deploy 10 contractors. Get them in to build their 70 structures. And uh, then they can just bugger right off again. Unless we've suddenly got 20 grand, which is unlikely. But we might do, you never know. So there we go. So they can hurry up and do that. They can build a small stand and these bits of roads here and the taxiway and all that kind of stuff. The small stand can be switched on. That is another stand that's going to bring in money. So it's all working. It's all going toward our sort of goal of getting a nice stable income from this. Uh, it's not as stable as it could be because you don't know how many people are going to come in and out. Plus, I do need to keep repairing the runway, which is getting somewhat expensive. But all uh, oh, the lights are coming on. The lights are coming on. It must mean that it's getting late. Okay, right. Build the dudes. Build this stuff really fast. Because you're taking ages and you're, I'm paying for this. I'm paying monies. Can you chop, chop? And there's probably, what, 10 of you or whatever? How many did I order? 10? I can't remember now. There's plenty of you to be getting on with it. So come on, hurry up. I suppose it is quite a long way. It's quite a long way for the little guys to walk, I guess. Can we can we follow someone? I don't actually know. But can we follow you? Can we, like, track them? No. We can't sort of track them and it just goes off the end of the thing. Uh, okay, no, never mind, never mind. I thought we might be able to follow them around and see where they went and what they did, but uh, no, we can't do that. Anyway, so the plan then, yes, will be to have this service road. So if we have a, another stand sort of flipped opposite, the service road will then connect at this end. We can build the stands up, 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 up here to wherever it gets at the top up there. And then that'll be lovely. There'll be stands and, and the service road will connect them. We'll be able to get to... Just there, in fact, we'll be able to build pretty much right up to the top, I think, which is great. So we'll have another one, two, three, four, five, six, another eight stands. 
goodness me, that'll be very cool. And that'll be quite lucrative as well. That'll be quite profitable for us. Now, I think what I'd like to start thinking about as well is getting the uh, fuel stuff in. So that's going to kind of go up here. While those contractors are on site, let's just get them to build the... Do we want to do grass? Yeah, for now, let's get them to do the grass, a grass road. Let's just put it up to about there. That's probably as much as we need to build. A vehicle depot, the fuel depot, and the little kind of fuel supplemental thing, like the little reservoir bit that sits there. So that should be enough for that. Okay, let's speed time on until they're done with that. In they come. Look at them in their droves. All, oh, however many there were, ten of them. All, can you have a drove of ten? I don't know. All of them, all ten of them um, can come in, finish that off. So that's done down the bottom end. Look, that's lovely. And again... They're all full. So now all of our... How many have we got now? Three, four, five, six, nine are all full. They're all going to be paying money. In fact, we can speed time on. Why don't we just do that? Fast forward to next... Look at that. They finished it. Beautiful. And we should get another... Imagine by the time it gets to the next day, we'll have another 20 grand-ish. Let me get more when they start taking off and stuff, don't they, on the planes. But we'll get more... And then we can start putting another one of those down the bottom. We can start our thing up here. But yeah, so we're going to put the fuel thing along here. So there'll be a vehicle depot, which I think I'll put first. And then there'll be the fuel things just there. And then we just need to make sure we've got the contract signed for them. And it's all working. And then they can have refueling, which might be very cool. I think they might quite like that a lot. Does anyone want refueling? Does anyone like need it? Yes, you know, he might go for that. Look, 51% might actually go for refueling. That might be a thing they go for. However, do you know do you know what I might do right now? As our big exciting expense for this part, I might tarmac our runway. I'm or whatever it is. Asphalt it. I'm gonna save up sixty grand, which is gonna be a bit tedious because we're gonna have to keep repairing the runway. So it's gonna kind of be, you know, self <laughs> self harming itself in order to get upgraded. But I think we get sixty grand. Now, I don't know how long that'll take. At the end of an hour, how much are we going to make? There's a lot of people taking off, so they're paying me a lot of money per takeoff, which is good. So, um, yeah, how much are we going to make? So, sort of 2,000 an hour? A bit more-ish? 2,005, yeah, so it's going to take, what, 10 hours is 25 grand, so it's going to take maybe a day. So if we need to leave this running for a day, and then we might have 60 grand. So, yeah, so if we come back tomorrow morning, if we come back... Day 8 of year 1. Now, I don't know how many days constitute in a year. Now, that might sound like a stupid thing to say, but this obviously doesn't have 365 days in a year because time is passing sort of exponentially quicker. So I think it might be three days to a season because autumn has arrived. So I think it might be three, yeah, three days for each season. So there'll be a 12-day year. So we're starting spring. So three days of spring, three days of summer, and now autumn has arrived. So 7, 8, 9 is going to be autumn. And as you can tell, the, the colour palette has gone all a bit pale, which is... Which is fine. It's autumn and it's all gone a bit weird. But um, yeah, so I think we might have to wait until at least day eight. And then we can carry on. Okay, winter has arrived. Winter is no longer coming. Winter is here. So it took quite a long time. I don't know what it was. Was it day seven before? So it took a couple of days. But I have $80,000. So you might think, why have I got that? So it's because I could put an extra stand at the bottom as well to do something with. So let's repair the runway first. Then we're going to upgrade it to that. Beautiful. Oh, look, it's a proper runway. Right, okay, right, repair that. Let's see, one use then, $39. So it's not quite half, but it's certainly a lot cheaper than the other one. And in the long run, that'll pay off. Now, right now, obviously, that's very expensive. That's cost me a lot of monies. But in the long run, that'll be fine. Now we can get ourselves another small stand. Uh, this time, turn it round so it connects onto the things just... I can't see where the edge of the thing... Where's the edge of the runway, the, the road bit in the middle? Is it there? Is that it? Yeah, so we can tack it to just there, like that, and then get the taxiway node to connect to just there. Beautiful. Right, we haven't got any dues. We haven't got any building guys, so let's just get those in. So construction, I think... Oh, no, we have. They were up till up there. I didn't get rid of them. Oh, they've been sat there for about two days. What an idiot. I could have saved myself several hundred pounds if I just got rid of those guys. Never mind. We'll get rid of them in a minute. They can just bugger off. But that small stand is now already connected to the road. So that's fine. So we can literally just go general aviation, open the stand. And that's beautiful. And then look, it's connected to the service road by virtue of that. 
So when we put refueling in, the trucks can come in here and just immediately have access to all these ones that are going up here, which is beautiful. So that's a good thing. Yeah, when I was mucking about with this, when I was trying to work out how best to do it, I did initially have a bit, that a kind of loop. So I had the, the taxiway coming in, going like that, going up and then over the top and round like that. And then I figured that you couldn't then in the middle have service roads going through because you can't cross the service roads over the taxiways. It's not allowed. It, it doesn't happen. You can't do it. And if there is a way, I don't know of it. I tried lots of different things. It didn't work. So that's why I've had to do it this way. And I think it seems to be working. Like, they, you know, it works. They can come in and there's no queues. People aren't sort of sat in a big queue looking annoyed and holding and waiting and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's going okay. Right, we've got another 20 grand. Why don't we, right now, strike while the iron is hot? Let us do this. Let's drop another one of those in. Just uh, there. Beautiful. We've still got the builder guys in because I haven't sacked them yet. I haven't told them to bugger off. So they're still waiting. So they run in. Yeah, why can't you guys come in? Come on, get on with it. Get on with it. And then, yeah, look, so we'll have a full thing again because it's getting late. Be good if you get this done, actually, dudes, before nightfall. That'd be tremendous. Let's repair that. Well, they're there. Now, this is good as well, because now I don't have to build the taxiway either. So I'm saving a bit of money each time. Right, quick. Get that done. Open the stand. Requires a taxi. Oh, no. That was my fault. We could have had someone there then. Never mind. No, that was my fault. I don't think we've... Uh... Can, can someone come in late? No. No, never mind. Okay, fine. Let's speed forward to the next day. In fact, hang on. Dismiss all the contractors. <laughs> Goodbye, contractors. Right, fast forwarding to 4 a.m., they're getting all my monies in, which is good. So, yeah, it goes... For, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of time that it speeds through. Can't you just go ping? There you go. I've gone to 4 a.m. If you press that button, it kind of assumes that you don't care what happens between now and 4. Because nothing is happening. I just kind of just go ping and I'm there and I'm done. But, uh, no, I've got to sit and wait. Okay, fine. So, another couple of hours. And I think that'll do for now. I think that's that's gone okay. That's gone well. Uh, it's not probably been the most exciting of all the parts why have we suddenly slowed to a crawl this is not fast forwarding this is slow forwarding can we go faster with the fast forwarding can we go a little bit faster a little bit faster with the fast forwarding ah there is a noise oh where's the stupid rain effect coming because i'm zoomed out it's having a little bit of a moment hang on it'll get to four o'clock and it'll stop doing its fast forwarding thing then we might have to see if it worked. Come on, get to four o'clock. Stop doing your thing. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it because I'll probably have the volume turned down a bit on the playback. But um, there's a rain kind of sound effect. I think it's supposed to be raining, is it? And um, I know right now, sun. What's that noise I can hear? Then it sounds like rain. Um, okay, never mind. Whatever. Um, so yeah, we've got these in. I think this is going quite well. I think it's going very well. I think next time out. We get enough money. This this is all right. This is being repaired. These are all looking good. So these don't need a lot of repair. Like they're on sixty eight percent and stuff, but that's fine. That's not bad. Um, yeah, let's repair that one. Four hundred and nine. That'll keep that nice and ticking over. Um, I think we might try next time and unlock the fuel thingy. Now we need a lot of money for that for the fuel thing. Where is it in economy and procurement? There we go. In this bit, the Avgas one hundred fuel service uh, is the fuel typically used by GA aircraft which is what we've got lots of so I'd like to get this in play but it's $50,000 so it's going to take a long time to earn just the right to unlock it and then we have to build the thing that the, the sort of vehicle bay for the truck to live in we have to build the actual sort of fuel depot thing and we're going to have the little in fact, do we need the additional bit I don't know if we need the additional bit how much fuel do these guys need I don't imagine these little planes need a lot of fuel so let's not have the additional bit, because you can put a fuel depot and then a kind of an extra sort of reservoir type thing. But let's not have the extra bit. Let's just have literally a vehicle depot and a fuel depot bit. And then we'll see how that goes. And we can always add the bit on if we have to. But yes, yeah, so we need 50 grand to get that. Just simply unlock the right to have the fuel available. Plus, we need some money to build the other stuff as well. So it's going to take a while. So I might possibly leave it running until then. Just leave, just leave it ticking over. Just keep repairing things as we go along. And just see, as you know, we'll get to 50 grand and then just try and do stuff from 50 grand. I don't know. Or should we build this up first? I don't know. We'll, we'll consider that. We'll consider that in the next part. But yeah, I think I think it's going well. I think it's going well. Not exactly setting the world alight in terms of cash. We're not, you know, making millions a day, but we're getting there. 
I think we're getting there slowly but surely. And once all this is in, once this is full, then we have another one of these as well over here with more stands this side. I think that'll be turning a nice little profit and then we'll be able to start thinking about planning our big apple. But that's that's some way off for now. If you like this video, please do leave a like and yeah, please subscribe as well if you'd be so kind. I would be most humbled. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who?